Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're an AutoCAD user, you know how important precise scaling is when working with viewports. Whether you're preparing a detailed architectural drawing, engineering plans, or any technical design, you, getting your viewports to the right scale is crucial. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create custom viewport scales in AutoCAD so you can ensure your drawings are always clear, accurate, and ready for print presentation or printing. So if you're tired of having to default scales and need something more specific for your project, then stick around. By the end of the video, you'll be able to create and manage your own custom scales with ease. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the landscaping plan that you see here on the screen. Remember, anytime you draw in AutoCAD, you put all of your geometry in model space at a scale of one to one, that is full size. You don't want to scale in model space. We always draw stuff the actual size that it is, and then we worry about scaling when we get ready to print or we move to paper space, which is what we're going to do today. So if I take a moment here and I go to this first tab here called Landscaping Plan, you'll see that I don't yet have a viewport in place. So I'm going to go up here and change my layer to the viewport layer, and then I'm going to use the Make View command and I'm just going to start at 0, 0, and I'm going to come up here to a point like this, and it puts my viewport in place. <clears throat> now that I have my viewport in place, I need to make sure that the scale is something acceptable for what the uh, governing agency would want. In this case, if I jump in, double click to get into that viewport, you'll see that it's at some weird scale that's not really to any scale at all, uh, and it's not going to be acceptable by the county planning agency. So what I need to do is I need to create a custom viewport scale so that it will show the way it's supposed to show on screen. Somebody could actually lay a scale down on it and measure something if they needed to. To do so, simply click on the scale list and you'll see a set of scales. Uh, some of them at the top are mechanical and then the ones down here at the bottom are architectural. But the one that I need is, in this case, one inch is equal to 10 feet. And that's clearly not on this list. So what I want to do is go all the way down to the bottom, down here where it says custom, click on that button, and then I want to add a new scale. So when I click add, I get this next dialog box that pops up and it says name appearing in the scale list. Now it could be anything you want, but if we're gonna follow the AutoCAD example, I'm going to say that one inch is equal to 10 feet dash zero inches. And then down here, I'm going to change my scale properties. So right now it says paper units, one inch, is equal to drawing units. This is the one that I change over here. If I want it one inch is equal to 10 feet, then I could simply type in 10 feet dash zero inches, okay? Or if I wanted to do the calculations on myself, I could type in 120 because there's 120 inches in 10 feet. Um, either way works, so feel just make it either way you're comfortable, and I'll just say OK. And you'll see what happens here is it adds that scale to the list, and then from here I can either move it up or I could move it down. So if I want this architectural scale to live down here with these other architectural scales, but you know maybe in order of where it's supposed to go, I could put it in the order. I like it at the top because it's one that I use quite often, so I'll just simply say OK. Now that I've set that, created that new scale, all I have to do to set this viewport to that scale is to select it from the list. Now that I've selected it from the list, you'll see that it changes my scale in my viewport. The last and probably one of the most important things that you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to lock this viewport. Okay. Locking the viewport prevents you from accidentally scaling and changing that viewport scale. You can't pan around. It's going to lock it the way it is. You could still draw and erase and do all that kind of stuff. You just cannot change the scale or actually what's seen through that viewport. If you want to add additional view or additional scales, you go back and you just repeat that process. Hope this helps. Have a good day.